Hey everybody, um, I'm going to be starting a new project on the uh, travel trailer here. Uh, this is a mag, this is a mini magnum uh, box right here. Uh, this is a Midnight Classic 200. I have a uh, magnum inverter that should be here in a few days, and I'm going to be putting solar on top of my travel trailer and uh, building a uh, energy station to power my travel trailer. For this project, I'm going to be using uh, these eight Trojan T105 REs. They're the uh, lead-free 6-volt batteries. Uh, and the reason I got eight, well, my inverter is uh, going to be 24 volt. And I got eight of these in case in the future, if I want, I really wanted to get the uh, Outback Radian, which is a 48 volt uh, inverter, but that was uh, that project was a little steeper dollar wise than I was prepared to spend and so I got the Magnum it's a really nice unit and I think I'm gonna like it a lot it's a 4000 watt inverter uh, but this gives me the ability to uh, either have double the uh, amperage capacity in a 24 volt or if I want to step up to 48 volt I can do that too what I'm going to be using for solar panels uh, are the uh, PV68 uh, from Unisolar and this was a bit of a, the, probably the most controversial part of my whole thinking is I realized Unisolar is no longer in business, but I really wanted the flat solar panel. And believe it or not, there's 12 of these buggers in this box. And uh, kudos to the guys that boxed this up because it came UPS in perfect condition. This is up like this. I tried to pull it out to take a look. I thought I could pull it out like some paper towels, but I starting to pull the paper off, so I didn't want to do that. And, and then lose my sticky, uh, have it start sticking to stuff that I don't want it to stick to. But anyhow... Uh, that's what I'm going to be putting on top of my travel trailer. I really wanted a low profile uh, look and then I'm also going to be mounting them on the canopy of my truck so I also didn't really want it sticking up uh, and looking like solar panels. So uh, 12 of these I should have uh, in the 860 watt range of power which I think is going to be enough to give me the power I need for the little bit of 110 that I use. So as you can see in real life, these one of these Hummers is actually nine feet long. If I can zoom in on the link there enough where you can see it, um, comes with the MC3 connector, which is a bit of a uh, bummer, but you can still find uh, the connectors available, so it won't be that big of a deal. And uh, what I'm going to have to do, of course, is if I'm going to put this on my uh, truck canopy, is I'm going to have to extend the canopy about a foot and a half to accommodate the length of this. But I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. So this is the top of my camper and one of the problems I had uh, with the regular framed solar panel is I have all these things on the roof that interfere. So my choices were go with less panels that were larger and I could fit like two of the 250 to 275 watt panels up here or I could put a bunch of the 140 Kyoceras but those are about 285 bucks a piece. They're the same price as the 255 watt. So I started getting pricey uh, to get to put any number of those panels up here. So, um, and then the other problem was if I went with the Unisolar, I really wanted to get the 144 watt panels because that would have been cheaper than the 68s. But I can't get a. Those are uh, 18 feet long. And so it's really difficult to get an 18 foot run where things aren't blocked. So what I'm hoping is with the 9 foot panels, I can, I can get a bunch of them together where it's not going to be a big problem uh, with obstructions. And now i got to get up here and clean this roof before I put the, that, those self-adhesive uh, panels up here. So if you're curious how much dirt I might have got off the roof of this RV, all you got to do is look at my girlfriend's car right next to it where all the uh, slop went. So it uh, looks like I'll be washing something else today. And if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I always have some little bit of special joy. Uh, today I'm up on top of the roof. I'm about four squirts into cleaning the roof. And the nozzle comes off and goes whipping off the edge of the RV. So I just, just opened up the bottle and poured a little bit out. But what a pain in the butt. And that's a pretty new bottle. Now I'm up here on the roof and I have four of the panels with me and I'm just going to play around with placing them. 
uh, clean my roof with the uh, Dicor rubber roof cleaning product. And the very first thing they should tell you on the directions is uh, raise your TV antenna. You're up here and then you're like, crap, how do I clean under that thing? And you don't feel like climbing down. Now this is a real bummer. My air conditioner is like one foot too far forward for me to get these all nice in a row on the top. What I was hoping to do was have uh, two sets of four and I was going to send 48 volts to the uh, uh, charge controller. But I'll have to see what happens here. Okay, what I think I'm going to have to do is uh, the uh, OCD in me wants everything to be perfectly straight. But I don't think that I'm going to be able to achieve that with all the uh, roof obstructions. So I'm probably going to have left side and right side. And these are going to go and connect to those two up there. And then i got to figure out how to get this one right here. And then also this guy right here, which goes up onto, that's the vent over the shower. Uh, I'm going to get these all to squeeze in here, but it's probably going to be crooked which won't be noticeable from the ground so it won't be too bad so yesterday afternoon I was putting down some of these solar panels and it was the middle of the afternoon and the temperature of the panels were about 160 degrees I measured them with a infrared device and so I thought well I'm, it was really hard to get the backing off because they were kind of sticky so I thought well I'll do it tomorrow morning before it gets hot and now there's a layer of condensation and this is so slick and I am not that graceful so I'm gonna to have to wait for my friend the Sun here to dry these off but not heat them up too much so it's always something isn't it <laughs> 